na mkaribu katika taarifa wala usishtuke ni mazoea tu lakini si saa saba ni sana ni kamili na karibu katika taarifa zetu Mawakili wa naibu jaji mkuu Filomena Mwili wanapinga kuhusishwa kwa mwendeshaji mashtaka maalum kama Rukureish katika kesi hiyo. Mawakili wao wanateta kuwa tajiriba ya Kureish haijulikani na kusema kuwa mwanasheria mkuu. Jaji Kiara Kariuki na mkurugenzi wa mashtaka Nurdin Haj hawakuwa na mamlaka ya kumwajiri Kureish kuendesha mashtaka. Mwili anatuhumiwa kwa ufisadi ambapo kesi hiyo imepangwa kuanzia leo is here with me. Professor Kureshi has been appointed by the DPP pursuant to enabling legal provisions and has corres correspondingly been admitted as an advocate of the High Court of Kenya by the Honorable Attorney General. Permit me to place before you all the instruments of appointment which include the letter of admission as an advocate the Gazette notice of appointment, and for completeness, I have submitted copies of the same to all the Defence Council. And uh, the relevant provisions of Kureshi's appearance before you are quoted in the letter of appointment as well as the Gazette notice. You're, you're trying to justify why the good professor should appear <coughs> and lead the team for the Director of Public Prosecution. Uh, and we have been given a copy of this, uh, these papers. I, I'm, I'm uh, Mr. Rangit, perhaps just so that they are clear on what uh, you are driving at, is it uh, his appearance per se, or his appearance in relation to the notice that only seems to refer to specific... Uh, his appearance in this proceedings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if he were before the subordinate court, mm -hmm. then I'll have no problems. So all I'm saying, the instrumentality for his appearance before your lordships and the lady is this gazette notice. And I'm saying that those powers <coughs> cannot be exercised by the Director of Public Prosecutions to include uh,